Symbiosis stuff. It's probably your best bet now that Bomb Heaver is back in the meta. If you had asked like two weeks ago, I would have just said uh, some like Fain Death Elf Pile. But now that everyone's actually just playing Bomb Heavers, you'd have to play Radea. And that seems a lot worse. But yeah, I think their list here makes a lot of sense. I like it a lot more than the original Javis list. I was still playing Abandoned Girls for some reason. Not sure I get that. I mean, the Symbiosis deck isn't great. There's just not really anything great for ST. I'm surprised they rated ST over the Monsters decks. I feel like the Monsters decks are pretty good. I don't know, maybe they get worse when players know how to exploit them. Oh, good game, Melja. Symbiosis list, you need to complete, commit the entirety of either package into round one. Yeah, the problem with that is you can't commit the uh, the Symbiosis package, because Ithne is so bad in round one. Like, ideally it wants to win round one with bronzes, and then push round two with one of the other packages. But how in the world are you winning round one? It even didn't kill a larva. It's crazy. for round two, too. Can you give other mods mod comments? not to concede or out of control the monsters. It's gonna depend on what deck you're playing. Sometimes you just have to commit if you really want round control. You gotta play some golds. If they draw well and have the Corinthia plus Ethereal in round one, it can be tough. Sort of regardless. Though if they play Ethereal in round one, like they don't have the Corinthia, you often don't mind giving up round control. No one actually plays two bread dives, right? Frames. Uh, a little bit. Not too bad. Yeah, it's not. I'm not constantly dropping frames, but I dropped like 100. Nothing I can do about that. with scenario uh it's sort of just like a completely different deck from what we were playing before i had a patreon request to play a deck with siege draug and the new warfare cards 
So I had to do something to fit it all. There's no Nero. There's no uh Varaxis. I have a Patreon since I started the YouTube. I don't really use it on Twitch. It's almost exclusively a YouTube thing. Ever watched my YouTube? That would be why. Be nice to forget once I draw. It's a cute idea. Yeah, I guess ladder is kind of just cool to forget in general. Not something I had considered. Has yet to speak it last. Doing something silly like this. There's no urgent Baron on the board anyway, and I can always like rev ping off the Natalis if something big comes up. Any basic tips? Uh, can you be a little more specific on what you need tips for? If you're super new, do you just want to... let's see. Is there a specific faction that you like playing yet? Or are you still trying to figure that out? <laughs> this sucks. This really sucks. Uh... Huh. One, two, three, four, three. Oh, unless I hit armor, then I'm fucked. Maybe should have considered that possibility. Oh, I played a card anyway. Let's get this over with. Yeah, definitely, the Thorn Whip said. It's the sort of thing that you just like figure out the more you play. Between Monsters and Squaya. Monsters is certainly the easiest faction to get a reasonable deck together with. Once you get Dragolarva and Ethereal, you can climb pretty far with just that. Five hundred scraps. Uh, if you're just starting out and scraps your bottleneck, I think if you like, just like two Indrega larvas and Ethereal is what six hundred scraps. Is it even that much? 
Is it 300 scraps? What how much larvas cost? Regardless. That. And then you can just like do whatever from there. You can craft like Yigurin. Osril's a starter card. By far the cheapest deck that will carry you very far. My tempo is important to you. Yeah, but these are all things that like you'll figure out as you play. And it's sort of overwhelming to a new player if you just try to jump right into it, I think. Yikes. Double yikes. It's a tie? <laughs> oh, where was our Falibor? <laughs> Is that really the best card in this deck? the score right now. You can always check with the match history command. Takes a second to load, but... We are... <laughs> Two, three, and one. Not great. Not great. I mean, we drew all our golds. That's something, right? What program do I use so when I link a deck inside Gwent, it shows up in chat? Uh, copy paste. I'm not sure what the question is. If the king demands a head, I'll give him yours. I shall never be alone again. Click share and Gwen to copy the link in the clipboard. If you click share, it opens up a browser tab. And then you can copy and paste the link. Oh no. Thorn with no bully. Oh no, it's not automatic. Interesting. This Kiki? Kiki Haunt? But I, I get the assumption. I do have a lot of things automated. You bleed? Nah, I've got Siege and Draug. No fear. What's he going to do to me? He also might not be Kiki. I haven't seen Kiki Haunt in a long time.
that Pika cast. <laughs> I didn't even have to ask. Amazing. I like Ethereal a lot, yeah. Looks like Kiki. That's not good. Might be more urgent to just play Reinforced Ballista. But I want to play this and then Siege next turn and Leader Reinforce Ballista. I could just Siege now. Is there any chance of getting Heavered? I guess what's more likely, him having Heaver or him having a way to deal 6 damage? <laughs> Parasite's pretty likely. It was probably Red Dream. Oh wait, no, it was me. Huh. <laughs> I wonder what he did. to play at melee. It does. It's just I don't want to because it fucks with my Draug too. Okay. I think we're okay. Kiki. I could beat one Kiki. Wrap into 225 subs. We unlock a new emo slot. This dance, you will never forget. Oh, I don't want more bow clicks. I don't want space for Draug. So this key you have two armor since always. Um, I definitely kill that, right? Turns on his Azrael, but it's better than letting him consume it. I can ram it. Yeah, but then it goes melee. Just want to leave all my options open.
expiring soon because of gift subs. Yeah. Does this just win or do I need to greet it? Greeting it's worth a lot of points. It's also more rev value. Like his deck never plays Wrath, right? This is just free. This last card is Wrath, I still win. Do I really? Probably did. <laughs> it didn't feel like enough points, but I guess I was pretty far ahead. See, we beat Kiki in the long round. No fear. No fear. I think that video just went up a couple days ago. Kick these AA for Karak Marine. Karak Marine boosts up the frigate. Oh, or I can just TA the frigate. I guess that's a little bit better. Slightly faster. Probably just gets locked. Or right, gets Nilf Guard. Don't really expect this to do a ton. Lieutenant Flowers will lead the scouts. Eh, okay. Thinking can be hazardous to your health. <laughs> Damage an enemy unit by five. Darn. Not bugged. This 48 hour stream. That sounds like two things that don't sound like a lot of fun. I probably just played a Devil's Puffball. Let us see. I can't throw a. It's on the wrong side of the frigate. Not devotion. I guess we knew that already from the puffball. <laughs> Chat is getting weird again. What's up with that? What is this placement? I'm so confused. I feel like I'm supposed to kick the Draug. But I really don't want to. No, it doesn't reset. Okay, 
sanctuary. You got it. If you go into the playlist, those are the requestable songs for the song request channel points. We have been heaved! So I want to get bombardment value. Because I don't want to be inundated with song requests. Just the way the stream works. On my phone. Oh dear. Have I something in my teeth? Wow, cool. Uh, four, five, six. I guess this is fine. Not the trades I was hoping for. Just do this. I guess I'd want to click this first. We know he's playing puff balls. <laughs> we 
we got him. Devil's Puffball Double Heaver. That was, uh... That was interesting. Okay, okay. Double shot. Doesn't do anything when I click test. It's Cloudbot Redemption. Also does nothing. Pizza? Maybe she'd order pizza. Assuming that's possible in your time zone. Like, I'm not playing Gwent to compete in Gwent, and Parank is a less fun game with hidden usernames, so here I am chilling at rank 1. This goes to exactly 7. Discussion of the leaks changes. Oh wait, no, it doesn't, because the Boat makes the stunning blow bad. Well, I can do this and it's fine. Same idea, right? Then this will boost the Karak frigate. Whoops. Nice. points. <laughs> Guess I don't. <laughs> oh, regrets, I suppose. Just shouldn't have played these things. Rip. Dragon Force, Edge of the World. Sabrina to row punish because of siege. You can. I think I'd rather just like play a surrender if I was going to do that. I'm not really trying to play siege and draug into the same round. That was the only track from the album that I didn't have on the old playlist. <laughs> as much as I like that Raudric album, that track's a little whack.
We're still going. Understandable, he just like steps the card down and probably wins anyway. Would have much preferred to have Siege left over instead of Draug, but this is the hand we drew up. God, insane. Insane! Look at those bombardment skills. <laughs> Miss the Bowie yet? I know. I know. I miss the Bowie too. The things I miss the most are definitely like the Bowie, Bo ugh, Bowie, <laughs> and like the Lupe albums. Ah, uh, the Hilary albums are good too. One of my favorite things about Monster Train. I really like the genre. Of Slay the Spire likes, and I just think Monster Train is a good iteration on top of it. Where a lot of the Slay the Spire clones just sort of feel like Slay the Spire clones, Monster Train does it enough different that it's really interesting in comparison. Like when I played Griftlands, it just felt too similar to Slay the Spire. Monster Train's never had that feeling. Japanese songs. Uh, Michida is still off the playlist. I could probably put those back on. I put all the other, <laughs> all the other Japanese artists back on. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that. Sure. What's the worst that can happen? I get DMC'd by Japan. Songs that just added. Okay. Is it being now? Is he trying to not lose his card? I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think I can re-add that. This is the first AA? Oh. Huh. Went on console. No, console went no longer exists. Oh, I should have killed this one instead. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have a card that makes me play anything more than reinforcements. I don't know console would anymore. Right? They decided to support mobile instead of console. It was too much to do everything. So he's got what? Like exactly Saris? What did he do in round one? So no Draug. Might make 
it in the first place then? I mean, it ran for... What, two years? Three years? It just didn't end up working out. And they switched to mobile. Baron does not do a ton here. It's a soldier. Boats, it's probably maybe the plan. Dark clouds gather over the, area. the problem with this is I don't get to kill Queen's Guard, but eh, whatever. Get stunning blow, that's fine. It's a turn where we're not getting queens guarded. the boat I get a better Falibor. It's not clear what the boat's doing for him. Do not have any tutors left? Is that why? No, because he tutored the, the Harold. I care way more about mechanics. To the dungeon with him. I played the Witcher games though. I played The Witcher 3 pretty recently on stream. I had not played it before getting into Gwent. Jump card game. Uh, White Shorts is a solid weave game. I don't know if they have a Hunter Hunter set, but they have a lot of other sets. Well, well, hey, RPGs. Like Never got into. Uh, to White Shorts. <laughs> My entire experience with White Shorts was buying a starter deck on a dare at Gen Con and then reading the rulebook and getting quite a laugh out of uh, all of the people in the room. Did you know that the game with cute anime girls has a phase called the climax phase? Real game, by the way. Arguably, I think, like, the third or fourth biggest physical card game. Leaks on Reddit legit. Nobody knows. No, I was just talking my whole experience with, uh, with Boy Schwartz. I was just buying a starter deck on a dare, and we read the rulebook back in the hotel room. And that was the takeaway. 
It was also the joke for the remainder of the weekend. I've got a lot of mileage out of that uh, ten dollar starter deck. Minecraft? I would have no idea how to make Minecraft entertaining. I don't know how people do it. Uh, Weiss Schwartz. W-E-I-S-S-S-C-H-W-A-R-T-Z. -S Gotta be an interesting person to stream Minecraft. It's a lot of talking. Yeah, that's not me. I, I will be the first to admit that that is not me. Look at all the look at all the animes this game has. There's a, there's a JoJo set. There's a JoJo set. <laughs> Have I considered streaming magic? Uh, not really. It wouldn't be my first choice of thing to switch over to. I'm not usually big on playing standard, and arena is just standard. I don't think switching to a streaming magic online would be a good career move. Look at that. A $300 JoJo card. Wait, why is there a Batman set? <laughs> what is Batman Ninja? There's a JoJo card game. There is a JoJo set in White Shorts. lot of anime that I have never heard of. How do I put this melee? That seems incorrect. Uh... Is that the next wave of Twitch callouts? All the closet weebs are going to be exposed.
is it over here? Uh, almost 3 a.m. Quarter of. Hey, right, it's Siege. Do this so I don't get completely trashed by Falibor. There's not really anything to talk about. We don't know anything. We don't even know if those changes are real or like what ability text changes go alongside them. We win because we deployed the first siege. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Apparently this deck is uh, good enough to make it to pro ladder. Who'd have thought? I mean, even if it's not like the dominant Nulf guard list, it would like be a thing that makes you constantly scared of taking that deck to a long round, even if you otherwise could, because your row might just get deleted. It's sort of the same effect that Greatsword has right now, where taking like losing round one to the mid range decks isn't the end of the world if they're not playing Greatsword and don't have that combo. And some lists don't play the Greatsword, but you're still scared of losing round one and giving them last play. Because of the possibility of them Greatswording you. Great Enforcers, this is terrifying in a long round. Uh, yeah, but some decks can deal with it. But it's pretty rare for a deck to be able to deal with getting a row deleted in round 3. Hey Barnabas! Thanks for the Twitch Prime! Welcome, welcome. Just like it's sort of hard for a deck to deal with like a big greatsword combo when they don't have last play. Thanks dude. Yeah, subs are, uh, sub count's doing well this season. We can't complain. It's just AA. What am I AAing for? Royal Guards? Right, glad you enjoy the content regardless. That is why the YouTube is there. Semperfy. Yeah. We'll keep the Marines in deck because they're a little bit better later. This is basically just one less point. It still lets me jam the frigate. I'm 
I supposed to reinforcements instead of frigate? That is not humans. Makes my drow a little easier to get value out of. This makes my ballista much better though. Guess I'd rather have a frigate sitting in my hand. Great addition to this deck. There's a lot of cards that I would like to play. War Elephant's not one of them, but uh, the provisions are tight. Let's put it that way. The deck's fine. Um, it competes with a. Uh, What's it called? Artificer for a AAable answer to the Rupture guy. If you have the space though, God Kadak just sort of trades a little better from hand. You're a lot happier keeping a God Kadak in hand than you are keeping an Artificer in hand. Sea Shower 5P. Alright, there's a 7 for 5. What else would it be? Must die. I mean, I guess 4 has sort, sort of gotten power crept to where it would be reasonable as a 4, but I don't think it's egregious that it's a 5. Complain about having an Igni. Missing Drow, Baron, Natalis. I just assume that all these Voltus decks are the Renew deck, in which case I just want to go to a long round 3. If he's Drow, because we actually have to play a game in round 3, but if he's Renew, I don't think there's any trouble. <laughs> okay. I'm able to keep the free goodies games after it expires. I. I think so. I think you just like redeem them into whatever you have them forget forever. Not exactly sure how it works. It's a Draug. It's probably okay. Hit him with Siege. I have played Witcher 3. Speaking of from hand artificer. So we do that, and then we go Siege, Leader, and then this is our other Siege engine. Oh, 
Let's have Salt Creek. Hmm. Not renew them. I guess we're playing a real game then. There's gonna be a drought we have to deal with. Probably. Heaver the first ball, and you squirrel the, the one under the graveyard so they can't sear it. There's no room. It's also a card that's only good in the siege round. You don't usually want cards that are only good in the round you should already be winning. Syndicate Wild Hunt? You mean Monsters Wild Hunt? It's just it's the same deck that we've had for the last... I don't even know how many seasons. Yeah, I'm... I'm aware. I'm aware of why you'd want to play Ard. But again, it's only good in the Siege Rounds. You don't want to need extra help there. 